Can our factories meet the demand for the Alpro Ice Cream in winter? Let's see! Last summer, we launched four new plant-based ice cream into the market. Coconut, Madagascar Vanilla, Chocolate Hazelnuts and Caramelized Almond. The customers reacted better than expected. Hence, we proposed a new campaign to keep up with the sales in winter. The marketing campaign we did increased our usual demand by 23%. Furthermore, due to the novelty and incredible taste of our ice creams, two new clients approached us, both willing to sell our products in their supermarket and hypermarket. This resulted in a higher new total demand of 63,782. We did this by calculating the demand for September, October, November and December with a 23% increase from the marketing campaign and adding out the clients A and B demands. Taking into account this increase, let's check if our production plants can meet this demand. Our factories are located one in Barcelona, working 24 hours Monday to Sunday, producing caramel, coconut and vanilla, and the other one in Brussels, working 24 hours Monday to Friday, producing chocolate, caramel and vanilla. They have the capacity shown in the table below. Let's check first the capacity gas for the factory in Barcelona. The speed of the production line is 8% slower than usual when producing ice cream, meaning the capacity is 92% instead of 100. Thus, we can produce what we see in blue versus the demand seen in red. In September and October, we cannot meet the demand. In Brussels, however, we have a demand capacity of 100%, and the factory only produces from Monday to Friday. If we want to produce all three flavors, we see that there's a huge gap between demand and the ice cream that we're able to produce. There's a lack of ice cream in every single month. Now let's look at a different scenario. What if Brussels only produced chocolate ice cream? It's the only city where Danone can produce chocolate flavor and we cannot just cancel the chocolate range. We can see that the situation improves when producing only chocolate in Brussels, but it's still not enough because in September, in October, we do not meet the demand. But we cannot forget about cost. Barcelona is much cheaper than Brussels. Wouldn't it be nice to produce everything in Barcelona? Well, that's not possible. But we came up with various solutions. The first one being producing in Brussels only chocolate and in the weekends, thus responding to the demand. And second, increasing the production line speed of Barcelona by 8% by increasing the productivity of the workers and using the excellence from previous months. The gramming could be another solution, for example, reducing from 0.5 liters to 0.4 liters. This would allow us to produce an extra type of ice cream, increasing quantity without having to increase production. Flavor mixing in order to customize the land could be another solution. Thank you for listening to us.